Hi guys, good morning. This is God is above. I'm about to show you how to replace. Earlier, I will show you how to check for a starter. Now, I'm about to show you how to replace a starter on BMW X3 to the i We're talking about three series, but some of them got different options. Some of them are uh, pretty much all the same, apply to all. What you have to do first, you have to take the you see this bark over here? You gotta take the cover out. You gotta take the air filter out. You gotta take the the cover on top of the valve cover. Okay. So you come here. You take the air box out. You release two bolts here to remove the the power steering fluid here. This is for the power steering. You just remove it. So you put it here the reservoir. And then what you do? You use um. T20 okay you use T20 there's two bolts down here you will face it there's a bracket it's, it's gonna be hard to see. You see this bracket there's a T20 there's two one here one on the left one on the right so you release the air intake so when you release that all so you just gotta be careful this is the air light air line when you remove that you have to press this together so let me show you. You, you got to pop it out, not to break it. You see, this is to the arrow, the mark. Right here, you press them, you squeeze them. When you squeeze it, and then you pull, and then you hold the other part, so it's coming off right here. Okay? So as soon as you do that, there's one ball here. One, two, three, four. You got five six you got seven bolt to release um that's um regular budget that's 12 12 millimeter as soon as you pull them out so you got the gasket a special gasket remember buy the gasket everything and then anytime you replace the starter make sure you have a brush starter oem manufacturer so if you don't put that, you buy something on eBay, cheaper starter, you got to redo it again because this job is a job like five hours job. It's painful. It's so hard. If you don't have experience, don't even try to do it. So you release all of this and then as soon as you're done with it, so you got to pull the air intake slowly. Remember, you need a bungee cord to hold this. Okay, you gotta remove it. Also, remember this is for the for the fuel injector line. This is fuel. Just be careful. Release that. That's a E12. Oh no, uh, um, T12. That's that's T20. I'm sorry, that's a T20. You release that ball. So as soon as you release that ball, you got the line off. This is for the auto sensor. You release them, and then you take them down here. The all line come down here. Just be careful. This is part one. So I'm going to show you part two. How to remove the starter and put it back. Again, I'll see you soon in the next video. Thank you.